All right, welcome back to the McGuire Motorsports YouTube channel. We're back down here in the shop <clears throat> working on this uh, 351 Windsor engine. Uh, it did spend a little bit of time in machine shop jail. Uh, There's probably four or five days late getting it back to us from what we first expected. I know it's been about two to three weeks since we've even shot a video. It's uh, December 23rd today, so of course it's Christmas season. Things have just been very, very busy for us. Uh, but here we are. We got the block here. I'll show it to you real quick. So I'll flip around here. <clears throat> As you can see, it's cleaned up very, very well now. All new brass freeze plugs in it. Uh, they put the plugs in back here in the back of the engine. Uh, you can see that as well. The oil galleries have been cleaned. We've uh, already got the uh, main bearings and the uh, rear main seal laid in back here. You can see down in the cylinders there, uh, that's not been bored or anything. That's the standard bore. It's just been honed out. Uh, you can see the cross hatch, hatch marks really well. Uh, that's what really helps the ring seal up to uh, make it not consume very much oil. So that looks good. <clears throat> also from this angle, you can see the new cam bearings that's been placed in it. So everything looks really good. We've got the pistons all laid out over here. We've already got all the rod bearings in each one. You can see these compared to the previous video as how they were very much copper colored, meaning they're wore out. The inside of the bearing is copper and it's got this silver material that's like the wear material on it. Once they get to copper, it is time to change the bearings. But we got these all cleaned up. All new uh, rings on the pistons. They're all lined up, ready to go. Also from the machine shop, what we have is our crankshaft. We have it right here. It's still wrapped up. We'll be unwrapping it here shortly. But they just polished it out, so everything looked good with just a polish. We're able to use standard main and rod bearings. We have the heads here with a fresh valve job, fresh valve seals. Um, everything looks good on them. They're all cleaned up. Nice, ready to bolt on now. So we're going to get started on this. The plan tonight is to set the crankshaft in it here in just a minute. Then we're going to work on uh, hopefully putting all the pistons and rods in and have it be basically a ready to go short block by the end of the night. So we'll see how far we get on that. That's what our plan is for now. When something comes up we think you guys will be interested in, we'll stop uh, and show you specifically what we're doing. Uh, I'm also going to try to set up our GoPro tonight. Uh, I went digging through some old boxes, finally found my old GoPro. We'll use that, try to do a time lapse of some of this. Uh, we'll see how that footage turns out. So if it turns out well, you'll probably see it here in just a second. And if not, then we'll just keep working on it. But we'll bring you guys back in as we get started here and show you what we're doing. But for now, we're going to get busy. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Again, we apologize for a long delay between videos. We were starting to pick up quite a few subscribers, so hopefully we can get that going back up real well. But we'll check back in here in a little bit. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and bring you back in right now. What we're doing right now is laying the main seal into the block. Uh, Dad just put a little bit of lube to help it slide in the groove real easily. Now I check here that you'll see, we've got one end of the seal actually sticking up out of the block. What that'll do is help provide a little less uh, leak. Uh, right there you can see where his finger's at, it's sticking up well, probably half inch out of the block. Now the main cap we have laid out over here this is the rear main that holds the main seal. It is uh, corresponds with the main seal. You can see it's sticking down right here. That'll push down into the block. Basically, where the cap meets the block, there won't be a end of a seal. You can kind of see how to go together like that. And the idea of that is less leak. So we thought we'd go ahead and show you that. Like I said, we'll step back in, do a little commentary and show you close up what we're doing with anything interesting like that, especially if somebody's never built an engine before, just little tips and tricks of the trade. So hang tight and keep watching.
All right, so hopefully you'll see from the time lapse, uh, we've got the crankshaft set in the engine now. We went through, uh, when you watch the time lapse, you should have seen us go through, I think in three to four separate steps. Uh, the torque sequence is start at the center, and just keep working your way out to the ends. We started out at 50 foot-pounds just to make sure everything was snugged up evenly. Then we uh, run the torque wrench up to 75 foot-pounds. Uh, went through all of them again. Went up to 95 foot-pounds. The torque is actually supposed to be uh, 95 to 105, so we went to 95. We turned the crank a little bit. It still felt smooth. Done them all on 95 and went back and just kind of split the difference. It said 95 to 105 foot-pounds. We decided to split the difference and go to even 100 foot-pounds. Ran through it all. As you can see, uh, we're turning the crank here. It's still just smooth silk. I mean, I'm one-handed turning the crankshaft. It's, you know, smooth sailing. I turned a little better look at the crank where it's been polished, as you guys can see. It looks really good now. The mains, of course, are covered up now, but all the rods, they just look fantastic. This should make for a really, really good engine. So, that's what we're looking at there. Thought I'd show you guys this. We got the time lapse still going over there, so hopefully you guys can see. Uh, we're getting ready to knock some pistons into bores. All right, guys. So here we are. Uh, we're putting in the uh, first piston. This is number one cylinder here on the driver's side. We got the ring compression on there. It tightens up over here. Got those rings compressed. You can see that right now. It's putting a little bit of assembly lube on the uh, rod cap. That way he'll be ready when we knock the piston down that we can catch the rod and go ahead and get that on there and get it torqued up. I'm wanting to think I checked the manual again, but I'm thinking these rod bolts will torque at 45 foot pounds. We have to double check that. We have our torque specifications here. Uh, 351 Windsor is 40 to 45 foot pounds. So, Dad's got a, a wooden handled hammer there. He's going to use the wooden end. And I'll get over on this end to sort of receive. And what you want to do is kind of put your fingers here just to keep those uh, rod bolts from making contact with the rod journal on the crank. Alright, guys, so the uh, first rod and piston's in. You guys will see from the time lapse, uh, all we did, we had the ring compressor here. Took a uh, wooden handle from a hammer, tapped it down in there. We did have a little bit of trouble, as you'll see on the time lapse. Uh, we had it tried two or three times. That second ring just kept wanting to get stuck. We had to keep fiddling with it till it finally just got in there. Uh, it pop, pop out of the uh, ring compressor here. It's just sort of a uh, universal ring compressor that tightened up to your bore. Uh, the big thing is when you look at it from this side, you'll see in that time lapse I was in here holding the rod, uh, letting it come through. You cannot let these uh, rod uh, bolts here touch that crank journal or you're going to destroy the crank. Uh, checked in the book, said it torqued between 40 to 45 foot-pounds. Um, so we, we split it in the middle, so let's do 43 foot-pounds. So that's what we're torquing these on. Uh, I'll come back when we get all the other seven rods and pistons in and we'll take a look at the progress. All right, so we've got all eight pistons <coughs> in now, so we can consider it a uh, finished out bottom end. Everything seems to go real smooth with it. Everything, as we rotate the crank, seems to go really smooth. We'll see if we can't get it to rotate over a little bit for you guys. You can see it just smooth as silk. Nothing really bad to catch us, so I think everything will be okay with that. That's where we're going to leave off tonight. We've worked a couple hours or something in here tonight. Uh, probably won't get to do any filming the next couple days because like we said earlier, it's uh, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, then Christmas Day. We'll be hanging out with family and friends. So when we come back, we're hoping to install a camshaft. 
maybe go ahead and throw the heads on it and just see where we can get uh, so anyway that's where we're stopping at for today uh, again we're sorry we went so long without a video but we had delays from the machine shop and then just some other issues came up along the way that we had to deal with but we're back at it trying to get this 0351 together um, and we'll leave you off for there hopefully in the next couple of days we'll get some more filming done for you and we'll have it ready to post for everybody to enjoy thanks for watching remember to like comment subscribe share the video with your friends uh, let's grow this channel uh, the more you guys subscribe and join the more we'll be able to do for you and we got several projects lined up that we can work on after this old f100 finished and some of them we may even intertwine as we're working on the F100 because it'll probably be a longer term project. But for now, we'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good evening and a Merry Christmas. Good night.